Last week, media reports indicated that the Minister for Lands, Judith Nabakoba, had suspended staff, commissioners, and chairperson of the Uganda Land Commission. The alleged suspended officials even questioned her powers to make such a decision. Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Judith Nabakoba, has however responded to the reports. Of course they have been saying I cannot take over but I guided. I guided as a minister responsible for Ministry of Lands. If I see confusion, I cannot leave confusion to continue. I have to guide as a minister who is leading the ministry and that's why I guided. As a line minister, she has defended her action. If they are bickering around, conflicting, not agreeing, and we think that they are going to take the right decisions. So that's why I want investigations to be done. We get the reports good enough, IGG and police promised that they would be faster and give me their reports. And basing on those reports, then we can decide on the way forward. But for powers to suspend the commission and staff, bases on Section 55 of the Land Act. Because they were thinking, is she going to give the lease? Is she the one to handle the land fund? Me, I'm not bothered about those activities. What I want is orderliness in ULC. Whether leases or what they can hold on, not until we get some sanity in ULC. Police has also responded on the matter. Investigating the some fraud in a land commission and uh, we have uh, recorded several statements we have retrieved documents uh, documents of, uh, of evidential value uh, the investigation is still young it's at a preliminary stage but we undertake to investigate it to the latter. Minister Judith Nabakoba made these clarifications while on a land dispute tour of Michana North constituency in Michana district. She however maintained that tenants and residents need to come as the process of satisfying the initial land owner of the contested land takes effect. Robert Nyango, UBC News.